That will do. Last time, uh, we did a few things. I believe last time we did... We did, um... That's the story, so... Um, I guess we're gonna be probably gonna end up finishing Cassie's story while well, if we're gonna continue down this path. Literal path down the road. go by level. Oh, then let's... So this is where the arms trade is to take place. The clouds move swiftly overhead. Looks like more war on the horizon. The life of a soldier, huh? The coin's good, but will I be able to spend it before I'm in the dirt? <sighs> we just have to endure. How much world can there be to conquer? Oh, noble protectors of the castle, would you care to buy any oil? My son is soon to serve within the keep. I mean to celebrate his appointment with a gift. Stay away from us, low-born scum. I can smell your stench from here. Hey, oh, I... I apologize, sir. Forgive me. What? What the frick? Is that really necessary? What the frick, man? What does it matter? He would thank me for ending his pitiful existence. If he could. <laughs> um, seriously? Do you shed a tear when squashing an insect? Cool will soon grow beyond the need of such rabble. Why? Why did this happen? Why did father have to die? This is life in Ku. The king cares only about growing his borders, no matter how many lowborn he crushes underfoot. They killed father for no reason, like he was no better than a fly buzzing around their ears. Prince Hikari. Hmm. Come here to pray for the lowborn. A rare sight. I'll find the men responsible for this, and they will pay. That won't bring my father back. Won't stop this from happening again. So long as we are lowborn, a boot on our neck is the best we can hope for. Isn't that right, my prince? You can call me Hikari. And you are? Ritsumi Shuyo. Remember it well. I don't plan on groveling in the mud forever. Ritsu. I look forward to hearing the name again. Don't cry, Mika. See those clouds, Hikari? 
I'm going to etch my name upon them. Bold enough for father to see. Just you wait. First things first, I need more information about this shipment. I should start by finding that merchant Kazan told me about. Azuma, was it? I have a request. This dude. This do. I have a request. Binge a drink. Up with it. Thank you, thank you. Any small business you can afford me is much appreciated. I sense greatness stirring within you. I suppose Kazan wouldn't have thrown his lot in with you otherwise. What is it he always says? An eagle can take the measure of man and need alike from afar. Now, as for the matter of this transaction, a little bird told me it will take place deep within the forest, out of sight from prying eyes. Even so, these weapons are vital to Ku's plans, and will likely be heavily guarded. Hey. Go with caution. I will. Many thanks for the advice. No. How are we on level? I have a re interest. I want to check out how people. Hey, there we go. We got all the light. 
What a dancer license. This mission shall determine the course of our nation. It is a great honor to be assigned guard duty, Captain Ritsu Mishuyo. An honor I am all too proud to accept, General. I know of your humble origins. You've done well to reach your station. See these weapons delivered safely, and His Majesty will surely lift you even higher. Yes, General. I'll protect the shipment with my life. Great. But... I shall be your opponent. Grit and I can handle. I'm investing in you. For a true friend. Thinking time. Pierce the wings of frost. I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, yeah. huh. Dark wood. I'm investing in you. I know. I'm investing in you. Thank you. Here I am. My blood boils. So There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Pride of Ku. Actually, that that look at the color. Okay. That's the way we're supposed to. There's no need for flatness. It will rust my sword. Right. I am General Roe of Ku. 
I come here in his majesty's stead. I don't care a whit for titles or names. Show me the coin. It's been a pleasure. Almost disappointingly uneventful. Well then, load up the wagons. Oh, hi. Prince Hikari? Those weapons stay where they are. But I won't shed blood if I can avoid it. I must set an example for the future of my home. Leave this place now and you'll keep your lives. Hikari. They say you're a traitor. His Majesty has put a pretty price on your head. <sighs> if you do not stand down, you will face my blade. Let the experiment begin. Here goes. I'm investing in you. Thank you, Patricia. I need a plan. Pierce the things of frost. Now then, together now. Forgive me, I did it. Here I come. I'll do what is this? Oh, I... For the pride of Ku. Enough. You're no match for me. <sighs> Hikari. Right so. I see you yet live, my prince. Leave the weapons here and go. <sighs> You've come all this way just to snatch glory from my hands again? Fine. I'll repay the debt I owe you. There will be no quarter this time, Ritsu. Oh. No one will keep me from guiding Ku to the future I envision. A future without bloodshed. Ha! A grand idea. Why do you need that sword, then? Seems to me that's an instrument of death, not peace. Or am I wrong, Hikari? Who is the product of an endless cycle of war. It was built upon a mountain of sacrifices. So long as Mugen is king, nothing will change. But this sword will sever that vicious cycle. <laughs> it seems you've chosen your path, my prince. But you chose wrong. You should have followed Lord Mugen. General Roe, you had my father's ear, his trust. Sheathe your sword, please. I don't want to fight you. My allegiance is to the kingdom, whosoever may wear the crown. And we are here by direct order of his majesty. We cannot simply abandon our duty. If you mean to take these weapons from us, then it will have to be by force. But be prepared to find out why they call me the Wild Bull of Ku. Better men than you have crumpled before my charge. I never wanted to cross swords with you, who served my father so faithfully. But if you insist on forcing me to bear steel...
Oh, I'm out of here. Okay, fine. If I must. Right, arms. This is what you wanted, isn't it, Ikari? Huh? <sighs> Brace yourself, Prince Ikari. I am General Ro, the wild bull of Ku. I shall skewer you upon my horns. Prepare yourself. <laughs> it sword is not too slow. <laughs> Here I come. My spear does not err. Now it begins. I fight for my friends. I'll end this. Allow me. My turn. How's this? Prepare you. I fight for the blood. Boils. Ten left is done. Ikari, stop lying to yourself. You want to kill me. Don't. You want to be bathed in this weakling's blood. Allow me to help you with that. <laughs> what if here huh? I come? Um. Uh. Here comes. Yes. Oh. It's red. Uh. <laughs> uh. <sighs> How much longer will you deny your true nature? How much longer must I tolerate this farce? See a shadow looms at your back, Lord Hikari. <sighs> Enjoy the time you have. For one day, it will consume you. General Ro. <laughs> Fall back, Captain Ritsu. What? But... Hikari... You will never be king. I'll see to it personally. I'll be waiting for your homecoming. Ritsu... I get to keep that... What happened to me? Have I lost control? This cannot stand. I won't be forced to hurt my friends again. Huh? Ed. D Divine Dual Edge. Don't attack on all foes. General Rowe. Why didn't you let me take his head then and there? Have you heard nothing of the accursed blood of Clan Ku? I've seen it before, in battle. Something possesses them. It has delivered many a warrior of Clan Ku from the brink of death 
to the crest of victory. A victory which leaves no survivors. <clears throat> Be grateful that you escaped with your life. A cursed blood? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Sounds like nonsense to me. Regardless, we have failed, His Majesty. There will be a reckoning. General. I failed no one. You were the one who showed your weakness today. Uh. Oh! What? You arrogant cur! Don't dirty my name by including me in your blunder. And your reckoning has already arrived. Wait! I'll apologize to his majesty on your behalf by gifting him your head. <sighs> the deed is done. Now, what to do with all these weapons? Oh, I mean, we could take a few. My prince, I have no doubt your mission will go off without a hitch. Oh, we do? And when it does... Pray, bring the weapons to the town of Ryu. I'd hate to see such fine equipment go to waste. Mm. We will have defanged our enemy and sharpened our talons in turn. An eagle affords himself every advantage. <sighs> Sometimes it feels like I'm just another piece in his games. Hey. Raji. He just gives him a plus, gives us a plus two. Hmm. Master Kazan! Welcome, my prince. And well done on procuring those weapons. Procuring? You made me into a bandit. <laughs> but I suppose I shouldn't complain, given the results. How have your preparations gone while I was away? <laughs> I know that smile. You just forged Before higher, us buddy. is a foe mightier than any we faced before. A man of my profession does feel stimulated by such a challenge. Reassuring words. Let's have a toast, eh? Tonight, we drink. We've won nothing yet. You shouldn't drink before the victors have been decided. If you insist, my prince. Well then, I believe you wanted to find our old friend Wyman. Indeed. The late Lord Jigo entrusted Clan May with stewardship over an outpost on the eastern continent. Their castle lies in the snow-swept northern reaches of the region. Stormhead, it's called. Then I leave at once. Safe travels, my prince. When next we meet, it will be upon the battlefield. You know, I, you know, I, I think I could have guessed that from Plan May. Oh, anyway, else at the very moment. Lugan, new monarch of Ku. Breaks the peace treaty, neighbor, neighboring nation of Sa, and brings his in a matter of moments. The vast majority of Sa is over. Treacherous coup worms! I should have known that peace was nothing but false promises! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Don't be a fool. Treaties exist to be broken. Why bother with them? It's simply a matter of how. Therein lies the art. They made a pitiful effort at resisting your majesty, but now they've been subdued. Sa shall serve us well as a base of operations. Its survivors will bolster our numbers. Kill them all. What? But... Seriously? Your majesty... There are thousands. Children as well. Seriously? The grudges they bear will become the seeds of their strength. Best to pluck them from the earth while we can. Seriously? I won't give the command again, Ageha. Of course, Your Majesty. There he is. Ritsumi Shuyo reporting. I've just returned from my duty. And what of General Ro? He was your leader, if I recall. He was, but he betrayed us, Your Majesty. He worked in league with Prince Hikari. In secret, he told the Prince about the shipment, allowing him to steal the weapons. I was forced to flee, but not before taking the traitor's head. Ugh. Is that so? You bested the wild bull. I, I would risk my very life if it meant one fewer traitor to your noble cause. Dad? Hmm. Well done, Ritsu Mishuyo. Still, the news that Hikari yet lives is troubling. He aims to take your throne, and is gathering strength even now. Try as he might, he is a weakling at heart. Leave me. Your Majesty, do you believe that rubbish he fed you? His words are worth less than nothing. Still, his boldness is impressive. That he would not scruple to use an ally's death for his own gain. I believe I can make use of this, Ritsu Mishuyo. <laughs> Change is upon us at last. Soon. The fires of war shall engulf the world. I stop him. I think his enemy's strength is arranged with an old friend. That's what happens. Travels east to seek out a that most flight. <sighs> Seriously, what the fuck, man? Does this take so many women to date? I can't believe these instruments of death are in such high demand. I can't even imagine putting a price on such horrible tools. And I suppose as long as there's customers, anything can be sold. There was a path to run. You think this is the right way? Then I'm behind you. But that doesn't mean we can't start planning. Planning on how we can prosper without hurting each other. Like a peace tree. I think it's a good one. Yeah, it's a small nation. I wonder why it's a good one. 
thousand plus with an abundance of food. Very gift made of holy water. Thank you, Christian. How great to go as a U.S. sign during the reign of the Father. As a blessing. See a print. But I must have said it a brighter future. For sure. Let's show. I might get to it, but it, uh, but it'd be nice to talk to someone. However, the road ahead is true. It's walk with me. Find with me. What's wrong, Yukami? Preoccupied. Since children we read together, as far as a son was born, praise God. It's reassuring to have an up here with this building. With the pleasures. But who my principal is not going to have pledged to heal any. I have no objections. The two. They've gone. Or two. Or one. I'm doing it. Never you. Hey, Hikari, do you have, have any pets? Pets? Really? That's strange. It's about two six cents on you. Are you sure you don't have a pet? One is very warm and the other is pungent. And it's coming from somewhere deep inside you. It's not a very pleasant odor. Oh, shit. It's all the... Hello? First, I'm going to be equal with Ku. Sana is quite impressive. Or saw your every picture. They call him the Ego. I must wonder why he wasn't on it. Dolphin said, trick your enemies up with your greatest general to his comrade. Is a market. Oh, is it? Always reveals the reason. Exception after his 
so long as he's on our side. I mean. Quite trust me. Perhaps so. Thank you. Perhaps so. As long as we come up with the edges. So long as we can. Well, bro. Yay. Don't always say that that one's that one's a tragedy, but the many is just a metric. But still, it's like it's still horrifying to think. Think about it. Tissue come up with an 8 billion lead. Rock will sell the rights to the sea mentioned. Tissue travels to Belgrove, just with the wealthy noble Al Alrond, a perpetual financier. Okay. This is Belgrove. This is where I'm supposed to find that Alrond fella. Richest noble in the West. Right. Time to put on my best smile and charge on in. You just wait, Alrond. I'm coming to find you. Huh. I heard this was the most hopping commerce hub in all the continent, but... Kinda quiet here, ain't it? I barely see a soul. A bit quiet. Well, might as well check out the town while I try to find this Alrond. Excuse me, can I interest you in a statue made of the purest silver? It's a genuine Ores Rush article, and I've got the appraisal papers to prove it. Wow, it's beautiful. How much? Too much. Each of these is currently going at the low, low price of 500,000 leaves. That's low. Well. <laughs> I'd pass if I were you. Genuine silver? Ha! Ah, bunch of hogwash. Oh. Oh. How dare you? That's a baseless claim. Well, um, Real silver's delicate. Leave it out in the sun and it blackens. It ain't sparkling or darkening, so it's probably just a bunch of scrap iron. Just who are you? Well, I live at Ors Rush. Particio, at your service. A simple traveling merchant who hails from Ores Rush. <laughs> this is what real Ores Rush silver looks like. Don't forget it. Damn. 
I owe you one. It seems you have a wealth of knowledge at your disposal. Of course I do. Erudition is the heart and soul of commerce. Spoken like a true merchant. Please, let me treat you to a drink as a token of my thanks. How about a shot of spirits? Our town is renowned for its drink. Ooh, that sounds mighty nice. Sure. Sure. Let's just let's have, let's have a drink. And get... Yeah. Uh, by the by, were you uh, searching for something back there? Uh, no, nothing in particular. Just a spot of treasure hunting. I stop by the stalls now and then, hoping to find one. Not that I have an eye for it. Ah, that's a worthy pastime. No one's born with an eye for value. You gotta train. I've lived in this town for a long time, you know. Once upon a time, it was filled with happy people and fine goods. It was a lively place. But... The times, they're always changing, huh? I wish the only spirits that went down the hatch in our town were the drinks. Particio, why did you come here? I'm looking for someone. Goes by the name of Alron. The Alron? <laughs> He's one of the wealthiest people in all the West. I hear. He wipes his backside with silk handkerchiefs. Yeah. That sounds very... <laughs> silk kerchiefs? <laughs> I couldn't afford to do that if I spent all my days mining that silk. That also doesn't sound very pleasant. Think he'd be willing to sell those kerchiefs? I'd even buy them used. What? You. <laughs> Look, what I'm trying to say is, he lives in a different world from the rest of us. His time's too valuable to meet with just anybody. Unless you prove your worth, you're out of luck. Yeah, makes sense. Man cleans his rump with silk. Still, I wish I knew how to get in contact with him. Hmm. I may know a way. Break into his house. But Alrond knows business like a refined palate knows foie gras. He might agree to meet with you. If you had some distinguished achievement to point to. Hmm, that's so. Oh, time to make a name for ourselves here. Oh? Huh. <sighs> I guess I still haven't made much of a name for myself. But, like Pops always said, haste makes waste, and you can't sell a horse without a herd. Mind waiting for just a bit? I'll be back in a jiffy. I'm excited to see what mercantile magic trick you perform. Until then, I'll be here, drinking. Don't drink too much. There is no need to travel every path before him, but doing so may aid in the villagers gave me a whole big basket of peaches. Think of it, Paladin. Not about peaches, one. Well, I believe it was the biggest peaches win high. Hey there, here, what what you up? What are you up to? Oh you look at those peaches of yours. Not a lot of juice. Juicy? Hold still, let me get let me let me see those fine things. What are you saying? <laughs> uh, uh, sorry if I came on too strong. I just can't resist getting nice looking peaches in an appraisal. I may not look good, but I've squeezed a lot of peaches before. <laughs> Gloves off, hands on. Peaches? <laughs> but let me caress those. What the frick? Let me caress those beauties. One stroke and I can grade them from A to G. <laughs> what? Oh, don't worry, I'll be gentle. I won't nibble them unless you want them to let me. Wait a second, you're talking about the peaches in this basket, right? 
Uh, as many as you like, take me go. Oh, really? Thank you kindly. Sure. Turn it down and get freaking shield. Amazing. That. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry, I ever doubted you, man. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was too good. Oh, that was freaking. What the frick? Ah, Particio. I've been waiting for you. Have you achieved something worthy of impressing Alron? Like, I just wonder how many of the like, what... Like, if all of these would do it, or if one of these, or if it has to be, like, specific. Because I feel like the Mercantile Manuscript is probably the, one of the most... Well... Uh, oh. Ha! <laughs> Have I got a story for you. And that's about the size of it. Unbelievable. A vessel from the Tropu Hopu shipyard, you say? The last head shipwright was a legend, renowned the world over for his craft. Songs were sung about the beauty of his ships, and rumor is they sped across the waves like a swallow in flight. The richest merchants in the world begged him to build them a vessel. Yet he refused to work for anyone except those he deemed worthy. I'm in awe that you managed to convince that shipyard to furnish you with a craft. You really are a true merchant. I'm sure Alrond will feel the same. <laughs> Thank you kindly. I'll be sure to get in touch with him for you. Come to his estate later, and all will be made ready. Wait, what? You'll find it atop the hill in the northern part of town. Well then, I just hope my discerning customer bites. Time to head to Alron's estate to see if my hard work paid off. Search for the capital. Poverty nearly. Huh? You were poor once, Carter? Carter? I was a student. With only a few leaves left, I'd do anything. I know. Suffer. Hunger, I can endure. In the end, I fainted from pushing it. Mighty slow, my tree. That must sound that sounds just like you, partner. I was pretty poor myself once, you know. I didn't even have the leaves to worry about. How, worry about how to how it spent them. Every day I chewed weeds and sipped back packish water. Still, for all the pain I suffered, that experience taught me to appreciate what I had. More than more than that, it made me want to share the share and share alike, especially precious things. Now, I have no desire for how I their addition is an asset too, partner. One, one that's priceless. <sighs> the, the, the question I have now is, like, does. Like, are any of those, like, a wrong answer, or... Does all of them sound like... Does all of those sound like great achievements? Ah! 
Have you achieved? Ha! <laughs> Have I got a story for you? What about the parameters? And that's about the size of it. Wow! A gramophone? I am a connoisseur of the arts, but can never enjoy a tune without musicians to perform it. But with that splendid device, I could listen to my favorite songs whenever or wherever I wanted. It would be a fine thing indeed to have music readily accessible. Not just that, but gramophones will allow us to appreciate the masters even long after they are gone. It's a most wonderful invention of this, I'm sure. You really are a true merchant. I'm sure Alrond will feel the same. Sounds like it's okay. Sounds like all of them are just like are the. It sounds like that all of them are. That you just you at least have to do one of them. Ah. Part have you a Every time ha, Have I got a story for you? And that's about the size of it. My word, the mercantile manuscript, you say? Mm -hmm. I've heard tales of this legendary merchant before. A tycoon who did business the world over. He vanished without a trace after retiring. To think that you managed to find him. And you say he entrusted his legacy, the mercantile manuscript, to you? Tales of this legendary merchant have spread to every corner of the world. If this is indeed the sum of all his knowledge committed to text, then I cannot even begin to estimate its value. You really are a true merchant. I'm sure. <laughs> I'll be sure to get in touch with him for you. Come to his... Just hoping there's no additional text or after after that. Just gonna they'll be like, I've heard heard of you heard tale of you. This person has told me tale of you. You're so amazing. Here, have my money. Shut up and give me my like shut up and give me give shut up and ha, like and let me give you my money. Or shut up and take my money. There it is. That's it. 
I'll just rob his estate or whatever this place is. And Thimble Mantle. No level. Oh wow. Oh jeez. Whew. Richest noble in the West, huh? Um, I feel like you need to set Yes, something. that wasn't an exaggeration. Gotcha, is it? Ooh, come to think of it, I wonder how that young fella knows I don't know. Yeah. Wait, is he a butler here? Master Particio, I take it. Word has reached me you would be coming. The Master's study is this way. If you'd follow me. Uh, uh, thank you. Or what if he is actually? Or what if he actually is Alron? And he just, just oh, this way, please. Huh? You're that fella from earlier. Funny meeting you here. Get lost or something? <laughs> lost? <laughs> you really are an intriguing man, Particio. Intriguing enough to win an audience with the master of this house. Welcome to my manor, Particio. I am none other than Alrond himself. Huh. Wait, hold on. Plot twist. For the century. What? <laughs> You're Alrond? But who? What? Why? <laughs> Why? Don't think ill of me, Particio. I had my reasons to disguise myself as the everyman. As one of the wealthiest people on the continent, I find that most put on a false mask when speaking to me. Ah. It's much easier to judge someone's true character by how they treat you when they think you're nothing special. You know that? that is, oh, I see. That is fair. I often tell the young master that his penchant for disguise is in poor taste, but he never listens to me. Forgive me my indulgences, Misha. You have proven yourself a cut above the common merchant, Particio. That is why I have invited you here. Now, you said you had business with me. Looking for money, I assume. Uh, yes. Particio, are you like all the others? Come, speak your piece. Oh? Well, you've got me pegged, so I'll get straight to the point. I want to buy the rights to the steam engine, and I need capital to do it. Steam engine, you say? Pursuing the latest trends, are we? I have my eye on it as well. The coming era will be an age of steam, if I read the future right. Yep, it's got a lot of power and a lot of potential to make the world a better place. Problem is, the fellow who owns the rights to it ain't interested in using it for the people's benefit. I'm a merchant, that's true, but I believe there's something out there more valuable than wealth. People's happiness. I want to be in the business of trading bliss. So, I figured I'd buy up the rights to the steam engine so I could share the wealth, so to speak. An interesting proposal indeed. I assume your purchase has a price tag? Yeah. 80 billion leaves. Uh, 80 billion? That is certainly not cheap. And yet your proposal bears consideration. B but sir oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, The steam engine will make jobs, lots of jobs for all sorts of folk. Um, Especially clubs. for those who don't have the means to earn a living wage. If I have my way. The steam engine will help all those troubled folks make enough to feed their families. That way, the world will be a better, happier, more prosperous place. So, Alrond, what do you say? 
Want to invest in my dream for the future? Particio, you truly are a charismatic individual. However, however, my purse strings do not come undone for a smile and a song. Before I invest, I need a closer appraisal of your caliber. Uh, do you want me to take my shirt off or something? <laughs> Uh, no. Please, stay dressed. But if you remove something... Let it be the veneer off Wellgrove. The veneer? Once, this town was filled with energy and laughter. But market forces shifted, and an economic depression settled upon this once prosperous town. Hey, yeah. It was my father who put the final nail in the coffin that was Wellgrove's economy. how do he do that? He threw money at the problem, in the hopes of turning this town's fortunes around. What do you think all the townsfolk did when he gave them hefty sums of leaves for free? They just Some him? stopped bothering to work. Others took the money and moved far away. That... Uh all the while, our town declined. In the end, money had no power for positive change here. <sighs> so I want you to revitalize this dying town, Particio. If you can do that, I'll invest in your brighter tomorrow. That is... However, you will not see a single leaf from me until you complete this task. Is right. Hmm. I accept your challenge. I'll fix up your town for you, and I'll give it all I got. Good. I expect great things from you. Righto. Time to head down to the market and see what I can do. Oh, then he just runs off. What's there? Young butler in the service of a wealthy nobleman. The thoroughness in his duties have led, led, the, people, led, led the townspeople to believe that he has been a butler all his life. How long thinks of him as a childhood friend that we should surprise his best to avoid such feelings of familiarity. Come on. Hmm. What's there? Air. Heir of the Ranya. Like Ranya. Healthiest on the Western continent. After the death of his parents, he violated the heir, but, but was brought back to his senses by a forceful slap from his butler. Since then, he has been kind of even more spirited than before, partly to avoid worrying his butler. <laughs> oh, I, I wanted to see how much that would. How much that would cost him. Oh. So, oh, um, but yeah, but yeah, that is quite, like, just quite the thing, like, just, like, some people think you could just, you could solve a lot of problems just by throwing money at it, but a lot of, but a lot of people will, most people will probably do use money for the thing, for anything but what you intend for it. That's just kind of the problem with giving money. Well, no. We've practiced town for many years, but the only daughter hopes for her. She looks back in her own life, which, in which she was forced to put her patience over her own family. She finds it hard to keep her daughter's plans.
Carpets, rugs, mats. Uh, low prices, friends. Low prices. Ugh. Whoa there. You look like you need a nap, fella. Let me see your merchandise. Oh, these are fine quality wires. Let me try honking them. I'll sell them for twice the price, guaranteed. Really? Howdy there, miss. Have <laughs> I got a deal for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. See this here carpet? It's not just any old rug. Feast your eyes on this pattern. Seem familiar? It's Timberane's own symbol. This is a high quality, first class national product. What's all the hubbub? What? what? Heck? <laughs> Not only that, it's going for a one time only bargain price. Miss this chance to buy and you'll regret it. What? <laughs> I'll take one. Me too. <laughs> Thank y'all for the patronage. <laughs> Immediately. Impressed? I sold those mats for twice your initial price. D you're something else. <laughs> Just try. Are you the god of commerce? The falcon, the traitor himself? <laughs> <laughs> no. Simple fact is, no one will want to buy from a merchant who looks gloomier in a rainy day. Man, ain't that right? Have confidence in the quality of your own goods, and the customers will gather like flies to honey. Wow. I feel like a whole new merchant. Now get out there and sell some rugs. Huh, I've got a handle on this pickle now. These merchants lack the fiery passion needed to tug at customers' hearts and their purse strings. And their purse strings. But get enough sparks together, and you've got yourself a good old bonfire. All right, we'll just... To lay down some tender, how about I get all the shops in one place? If I can spruce up some abandoned storefront to host them, why? Yeah, that's the ticket. This'll work for sure. Okay. All of right. course, I need the right marketplace to spruce. Huh? Hang on. Hang on. Is that what is that book? Hmm. Excuse me. Huh? Looks like this place is abandoned. Ah, that makes it ideal for my scheme. Righty then. Time to put my refurbishing boots on. All right, time to do some house flipping. When I'm done with the place, customers will swarm in here for sure. You just gonna make I've a got mall? all my plans settled. All that's left is to recruit the merchants. Wait, he just, did he just, did he just go make a mall base? <laughs> like a fantasy mall? Let's check. All right, well, let's time to do make a mall. Our idea to combine many stores at one and be the location of food. We're like a powerful loop, finding many dis disparate people. It's your banner. I like that, like that. King of my castle. Oh, Hikari, teach me. Oh, Hikari, how to teach me how to be, be called Lord of the Dark. Cannot. I am not worthy of Keep us safe. All I did was by my people inside and spread my time hunger. Yes, it's my possible. But it was not thanks to me. Their vigor. Interesting. Yeah, if I write, Miles is the key to winning the love of those following you.
think I can help? I heard about you, Traveler. They say you're not none too shabby as a merchant. Think you could spare a secret or two? I don't have any secrets, but I'd be happy to show you how I do business. That's an offer I can't refuse. Thank you. You need something. You know, I need to tell you the truth, I think I'm quite shiny in mercantile ways. You've got a lot to teach, and I'd like to learn it all. It'd be my pleasure to share share my know-how. See this town is here. Some other amazing plan up your sleeve, right? Whatever it is, do, you can re if, if, if reignite my passion for me. It sure will. Just leave everything to me. All right, all right, all right. What you got? How about this spot, Particio? Entrance is too narrow. Let's take down this here wall. Take down the wall? That'll fix it so customers can step on in all lively like. You got it. Wait. Wait, does no one does anyone have the rights? To, like, who has the rights to this this building? Interesting. So you plan to have all the traders gather into one centralized marketplace. A fascinating idea. In fact, it may birth a new commercial concept entirely. <laughs> I've already come up with a name. Alron's Department Store. <laughs> ah, because each shop is in its own department within the greater whole. You have a fine sense for naming. Uh, department store. Don't not just, Mr. Alron, sir. Department store is not Enough of that. Alron will do just fine. Particio! I've heard the news! I've heard all the news! Ooh! No. Okay. Yeah! What hold you crawl out of, Scrivener? <laughs> the scoop hole! Wherever there's a story, there's a Scrivener! Fire of Hope flares anew in dilapidated commercial district. Traveling merchant Particio does it again. The flag of a new business unfurls. What? Did you call Let me? me handle the promotion for this amazing enterprise, Particio. Oh, hey. Oh, you do that for me? You betcha. I have a brother, you know. He's got this line he loves bringing out. The world's filled with people groaning under the weight of a thousand problems. It's fresh ideas like yours that bring a ray of joy into troubled lives. In short, I want to help. After all, I became a Scrivener to spread good news. Not bad. <laughs> In that regard, I'm a lot like you, Particio. Ori? You're good folk, you know that? Here, this one's on the house. A pre-opening present for a fine rider. Really? Thanks! I'll be sure to bring my fanciest words to bear. <sighs> Life seems to be returning to my town. Thank you kindly, everyone. This place is looking fine and fresh because of all y'all. There's only one issue left. Customers and 
Yeah, Sorry. our shelves are looking melancholy and bare. So, how are we supposed to stock all the various goods to make this place a success? Ah, uh, no worries on that frontier. I'll go gather up the goods myself. Wait, what? Y'all see to the finishing touches while I'm out and about. You got it! Ah, this will be a fine store for sure. <laughs> Strange. I got the feeling I was being watched just now. Ah, must have been my imagination. Now, on to business. Must be the wind. Who the frick? Who the heck is that? What does a department store like ours need? I'm sure I can gather something good from the towns I've visited up till now. Right. First stop is... There. Whoa! Oh, we're actually going... Going around the world now? Hello again, Sai. Flower of the desert. Now, what should I stock up on here? Come on, I'm begging you. Buy one at least. This is the only source of income I have. I feel for you, but no one in this town has a use for fine paper. One of them folks new to town? This place doesn't have demand for those wares or the market to sell them. Okay. Huh. In that case, I just gotta provide the market for their goods. Righty then. Quality paper it is for the shop's first showpiece wear. Only 300 though? Thanks for the business, friend. I appreciate it. Next stop, Clock Bank. It'll be nice to see Floyd's smiling face again. Jeez. Jeez, man. Look who it is. Portesio. How's it going? Fantastic, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Now, mind if I ask a question? Oh, not at all. For you, I'd be happy to field a hundred. I'm trying to find this town's specialty product. Got any leads for me? Specialty product? Hmm. Why not pocket watches? I didn't know there were clocks so small they fit in your pocket. Yeah, there are. Perhaps you could tell by the clock tower, but our town has a close relationship with things that tick in any form. Well, that settles it then, Floyd. Our second showpiece wear will be clock bank pocket watches. Oh, wait, what, would, what, hap what would happen if you don't go to the... If you don't complete the set of commerce.
Right then, time to make arrangements for my final major wear. Back to where all this began. Ores Rush. Okay, actually, okay. Okay, so, although, wait. So I was where the, where the mercantile manuscript was. So, I, I was like, I'm to try it. Like, <laughs> well, if it isn't my boy. Where have you been? Didn't even send your old pops a letter? Oh, of course you couldn't. Now, what brings you back? <laughs> Trade, what else, pops? I've come with a business proposal for you. Oh? A business proposal? A good one, I take it? Sure is. I'm setting up a shop that stocks the world's wares. Al Ron's Department Store is the name. I'm here to buy our finest sterling for sale on its shelves. Uh, hmm. Sounds like an interesting enterprise. You got it, son. I'll part with Ors Rush's finest silver work for you. Hey, it should be. You're a merchant just like your old man. How about yourself, boy? Cool. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Pops. There. I've got enough to stock all our shelves now. Time to head back to the shop and get ready to open. So do, wait, so does the shop change? Like, do the shops change? Depending on which... Which sense of commerce you... Things are heating up here. Time to report back to Alron and let him know the good news. <laughs> I bet his jaw will drop in surprise when he hears. Um. Hmm. Uh, I finally tracked you down, Particio. But what? What? Who? Who the frick? Who the frick is there? Who could be possibly be tracking down? Who would be tracking down Particio? Huh, what's this now? Fog? Weather's all wrong for a fog bank to roll on through. Oh, there. Alron's manor's gone white as a ghost. What in tarnation's going on? Even misty inside. 
Uh, this fog, it ain't right. Dang, fog's everywhere. Master Particio. Huh? You all right? Stay with me, fella. A um, man. He appeared out of the mist with a strange device. He... He attacked me. That's rotten. Where'd he go? To... Master Alron's room. I failed him. I should have stopped the intruder. Porticio, please. Leave it to me. I'll deal with that suspicious sneak. Hold on, Alrond. I'm coming. And you hold on, too. Okay. Huh? Uh, Alrond! Particio, stay back. There's something hiding in this fog. There, there is? It's too dangerous. Leave me. Run! Sorry, Alrond. I can't do that. I never turn my back when there's an enemy lurking about. Still, it's hot as high noon here. Oh, this mist. I could swear I've seen its lack before. Engine? I, I got it. This ain't mist nor fog. It's steam. But why is there steam in here? Whoa! Uh. Oh, ho, ho. some varmint sneaking around using the steam to hide, eh? I don't know who or what you are. But didn't your parents teach you any manners? Yeah. I don't care if you're some sort of fog monster or what. I'm ready to fight. Come on! Sneaky little devil. Yeehaw! Do they just have a steam en like have a portable steam engine? My turn. I fight. What is this? Soul descent. No, then. Pierce them. Wings of frost. All right. It's showtime. Bring it on. It's your shift now, friend. Could be the daggers. Now then. Rock's employee. Name of, uh... My name's Thurston, you twit! Huh? You're as infuriating as ever, you idealistic bumpkin! Because of you, I... I... Mm. I was fired! Rock gave me the axe! Me! Huh? He did? You ruined my life, Articio. 
So I'll kill you and put a stop to your pathetic little business deal with Alrond. That will get me back in Rock's good graces. It has to. Eh? I don't get what's got your britches in a twist, but I've never turned down a brawl. A word of warning, I never hold back in a fight, neither. Here goes. We're gonna need to heal. Although I just realized I don't have that guy. Use this. I owe you one. Alright. Can we go? Together now! Bring it on! Let's do it! Impressive work, Particia. It begins. Allow me. Bring it on. Don't underestimate me. I got negotiate with this one. Done. Time to divvy up the earnings. I probably didn't need to do that, but but, but it worked. I I've been foiled. You don't feel a lick of remorse for what you've done, do you? Listen, the reason Mr. Rock gave you the boot was because you were playing dirty. No. No. But I'm a forgiving sort, so let me give you a chance to set matters right. You're hired, fella, if you want the job. Wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Of course, I gotta kick that offer down the line a bit. I don't have the funds to pay you yet. But, once I buy the rights to the steam engine from Mr. Rock, you've got a place working for me. What a joke. You don't really believe you can produce 80 billion, do you? Uh... Who knows for sure? Still, I believe I can do it. In the end, a person can't achieve nothing unless they got faith in themselves. <sighs> You're a man of unnatural tenacity. That's a talent. You'd make a good worker for sure. Mm -hmm. Just you wait a little while, Thurston. I promise the day will come when I can give you a job. I... I admit defeat. You have a risk-friendly approach to life, don't you? I don't doubt you'd hire anyone off the street, no matter their credentials or background. Everyone's got a job they're suited for. Only problem's figuring out what that is. Oh, by the by, I came to let you know how the store's doing. 
Yeah, by the way. Oh? I've been eagerly awaiting news. How's business? Well, I'm gonna say, you know, huh? <laughs> Try to keep your socks on, but... Feast your eyes on this, a genuine clock bank pocket watch. As part of our opening sale, we're offering two for the price of one. Act now, they're going fast. I'll take one. Oh, me too, me too. Uh, this deal's gonna bankrupt me, but what the hey? Go on and take it, you thieves. Oh. My. This energy, this verve. Wellgrove has returned to the hustle and bustle of better days. What magic did you work to achieve this partitio? Well, the magic of forward thinking. <laughs> simple. First magic spell was a simple policy. Sell high quality goods on the cheap. The department store. By centralizing the destination for our suppliers, uh, that's this place. We simplify logistics and enable transportation en masse. That lowers the cost of said transport, meaning we can sell better goods for cheaper. Spell number two, this department store itself. The convenience of having all these goods in one place means people stop by loads of stores and buy more, more, more. In short, we built the place so lots of folks can and want to shop here. That's hey, Einstein, I'm on your now. side! These two simple ideas are what's generating all that energy. <laughs> that and a dash of passion. Dash of passion. I wish my father could have been here to see this. Thank you, Particio. This more than proves your worth. As promised, here is my end of the bargain. Eighty billion leaves. He... Whoa. Uh, wh what's this little thing? Is that a check? A check? <laughs> a promissory note that you can exchange for legal tender? Oh. I figured it would be rather hard to carry around eighty billion what? in coin. Yeah, that would be pretty hard to carry oh, around Oh, good point, I guess. This check. Hmm? If you are dissatisfied, I can throw some silk into the bargain. <laughs> eh. uh, no, no, I, I trust you at your word, Alron. Yeah, no, I don't need your butt, butt silk. Oh, right. We should draw up a contract for this loan. Promise that I'll pay you back. <laughs> Not necessary. You've already given me a down payment. What? what? But that's just my calling card. Single silver leaf. Indubitably. This is a symbol. A promise that no mere paper can equal. Alron. <sighs> Alrighty then. Time to swing on over to Mr. Rock's place. And buy up that steam engine. Idio. If I may ask. Do you really intend to sign a deal with Rock? I do not expect a businessman of his caliber to simply hand over the steam engine willingly. Huh. A word of warning. Do not trust that man, Particio. You would do well to ponder how he will react to your proposal and plan accordingly. Thanks for the warning, Alron. Much appreciated. Particio, hello there. I just love hiding in the. Yeah, Ori. Oh, seriously, where do you keep coming from? What you find? It's not important. Have I got a scoop for you? Magnate Rock has released a proclamation. What? 
A big announcement is coming regarding the steam engine. Massive, earth-shaking! Huh? Uh, suspicious timing. Wonder what he's up to. Huh. Hope he didn't get tired of waiting for me and made some wild play while I was out beating the bushes. Yeah, he probably did. Yeah, might as well head on over and see what all the fuss is about. Wait a sec. Does that mean you've collected the dough? Yeah, I got a billion. <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> Big scoops are falling from the sky today. Wait until my brother hears about this. <laughs> I believed in you from the start, Particio. Hey, don't leave! I wasn't finished yet. No, the deep. proclamation will be made on Rock's very own private island. Rock Island! What? Seriously? He has an island? It's private property, so there are no ferries. You need a ship to get there. Well, well we got one. <laughs> well, I already got my own vessel. It's a fine vessel, too. Purchase fair and square from Terra. Mm -hmm. Now I wonder what happens if you don't have them. Don't didn't get them. Finally, Merchant Particio makes eight makes cool eighty billion. Particio continues to amaze with a challenge from the Rock Company in hand. The open negotiation. Now you definitely see well be noble Alron. Moved by the merchant's passion, Alron has agreed. Act as a financier. For this desperate gamble to prevent the monopolization of the steam engine work? We need our next issue to find out. Yo! Oh. Yeah, there we go. I'm just wondering what happens if you if you don't have the boat. Definitely have to, like, or I wonder if anything changes if, oh, okay. Because, because the final choice I did make was, was, to, was to talk about the mercantile manuscript. Wait. Oh, wow. It's of items. But, Probably high quality. Also, probably stuff like all sorts. Of this, this there is a, is a department store. My, what a lovely set. These spices, I think I could probably make the dish of my dreams. Thank you, Ken. I can use this to buy more spices. We're enabling them. Well, now. to make curry Where you are, I pray this helps you on your journey. I'll take good care of this. Oh, 
Um, what? Oh, records. Tin toy. Fine, fine, take it. <laughs> think that, think that was exactly what I was looking for. I'll take it, kid. Go grab our We could all we could always buy. A man brought here by help one of posters. There to work. Thank you. Man, if only that was if only I could do that. I'll take that.
Thank you. Thank you. I'll take. That's right, the arms work for a change. I like my arms. Thinking time. Indulge me for a moment. Hmm. Indulge me for a moment. Now then. Feel my wrath! Let me show you what I've learned. Pierce them. Meet the frost. I've gained valuable insight. <laughs> Bro. A worthwhile endeavor. Bro. Roller, please. Roller, please. I'll take I like my odds hmm. Indulge me for a moment <laughs> Not well Indulge me for a moment <clears throat> Calculations complete. Indulge me for a moment. Not well. In pursuit of knowledge. Fire. Burn. <clears throat> this one's for me. Now then. <laughs> Indulge me for all according to plan. I need a plan. Indulge me for a moment. This wasn't in my calculation. Now then. Indulge me for a moment. I need a plan. <laughs> Study harder. You know, if I saw this guy, like, saw this guy, like, oh, with what? Like, I'd be terrified enough. Like, I'd be, I'd be scared enough to go and. Like, I'd be terrified, terrified to not study.
These prices, man. Have you not learned anything, man? Let me just have him as an NPC that I can just... Anyway... Oh, onward to Timberlane. Timberlane. Island. What a place. But it's literally just right up there. That was big. go with that.
Right. This way. <laughs> I shall be your opponent. Iggy. Prepare yourself. My blood boils. Soul I still have much to learn. Yes, it is. The very materials I need for my next adventure. You are truly a wonderful assistant. Now then, prepare yourself for the ultimate is the birth of an adventure that shall change the world. I've done it. My fifth adventure. The Tin Horn is finally complete. After years of research, I managed to identify the special sound waves that work on both the mind and body. All you need to do is play this horn to emit those waves and fill your listeners with an incredible power. That's another invention for all that's me finished. I dare say my genius is almost frightening. And now that you've seen the master of what, you know how to craft it yourself. May it also aid you on your journey. Tin horn. Thanks to all the materials you brought me, my inventing is continuing a pace. Can I blame you for being out of the charm by my genius as well as I am as well? <laughs> One more, and we get the ancient god. So, what is BP and adversity grants the equipping character two BP when near death. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. So what about so if we try finding hang tough with that and Oh, we still have a bit of timber right.
out. Let the experiment begin. What to do? What to do? Now then. Fire. A weak. Forgive me. I did it. I wasn't expecting that. Let the experiment Let's begin. Now then. Strike them down and finish. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my soul. Life is too precious to risk. Thinking time. Pierce the wings of frost. Prepare. What is this? Soul of the I still have much to learn. Own time when she must go back to work. Prepare yourself. Thinking time.
pierce the wings of frost. Ugh. It's my turn now. Pursuit of knowledge pierce the wings of frost. Well now. I know no cure for evil. Begins. What is this? Soul descent. It's my turn now. Uh... Oh my! Now then. Huh? Magia envy. That helps. What to do, what to do. Ah! Axe attack now! Now's our chance. Magia Envy. You have healing hands. Now then!
Now then. Magia Speed. You're too kind, Oswald. Prepare yourself. What is this? Soul Get Set! Time to shine! Together now! Forgive me! This wasn't in my calculation. I'm not well. My turn. Allow me. Time to shine. Oh my! Here I go. Axe attack has to be done. Prepare yourself. It's over. For the pride of Ku. Also, I just realized... 80 billion. Sure, I bet it's more, more money than you've ever paid out, huh? I thought I'd eat billion. It's got half, huh? Yeah, well, take it up to the to a bank, give him take a pass, well, you got piles of leaves. Never guess, but it's fine. Huh? <coughs> let me, let me, this scrap of paper will be picked up, will be picked from your, your pockets in an instant. Here's... Hooey, I did all well, huh? I'll be careful. I'll be careful. No, sorry about the trouble, but mind holding on to that there, Bernie? Can't think of anyone not else. I'd rather trust to keep it, keep it safe than you. <laughs> the farmer's guard is incredible. They sell all sorts of things, right? You betcha, the future is the part the farmer's guard, mark my words. If they were up to me, I'd go to church the farmers. Just jerky? Yeah, bird jerky, fish jerky, game jerky, monster jerky. I'd, I'd gotta reach them all across the time. Sweet meat, meat, spicy meat, you name it. I guess what I'm trying to say is leave meat to me. Yeah, sure, that's a nice meat you got there, partner. Right? But uh, would it still be a department store if it always held one thing? She's always running back around here, here and there, sort of scoops. Oh, is it elusive? Something on your mind, part? That became an angel. No, no. They would trust me for possible. Right, Audrey. Especially, they think Ken Chuck. Barry, that going too far. Indeed. Such a part. I can't get along. That's it for the day. Don't mess with scrivener's. Yeah, but I think... 
Hey, God, do the same if I was very issue. Yep, I wouldn't mind throwing off all those unnecessary things that felt privilege. Sometimes what you need most is a heart to heart with someone on equal terms. How you reckon? You're full of my leg, right? Aw, oh, and I thought you So this is Timber Rain. Trousseau said this town is where they're hosting the coronation. A lot of people are gathering by that castle. Which means that I've made it in time. There's a heaviness in the air. Rain is coming. The heavens are on Trousseau's side. I need to learn my way around this town before it's too late. You have nothing to worry about. Was very helpful. in a butterfly? That was fairy. Couldn't have just said fairy? That was fairy.
Thank you. That was... All the time? That was big. Cannot steal. That wow. Cannot steal. Not for sale. Are you just not able to get it regardless? Oh. Amazing. Oh! 
Holy frick! Yay! I'll take it. Also, yeah, you can't bribe this person. Was bared. Thank you. That was very... Also named after a yeah. Her son who is named after Jim named after Jim committed a crime or ship up to a prison island. This is Emerald's, Emerald's mother. From
Holy frick. Huh. Thank you. Holy crap. Thank you. That was... Thank you. That was... What was it? 31. Okay. Well, right. right. it's still a bit of an age gap. Cut that. I'll take it. Uh... 
I'm gonna say. But... That's about it for me. The current part behind the defense. Innocent. Thank you, Your Honor. Start racing. Okay.
that was black. Sword? Oh. In any case, I'll let the judge go. I didn't hear another court. Verdict. Jimmy the Azure son. Sentence of 80 years. Wrong. Oh. Some strange man taught me how to sneak it. Let he give me the Azure Sun Sword if I let him keep keep the rest. So you gotta believe me. Take Nero's belt. Let's have a walk through your pen. Little thank you. Is you this is Wait, what? Has been murdered. Wait, what? Huh? Proof of justice. Barry. I mean, he is, like, he is getting, 
If he has no, if he has no lawyer, then he has to defend himself. Oh. He's be holding his own. Mender. Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Casty. Remember me? Hey. Oh, my spleen! Master Edmund, what are you doing here? Living is what. Thanks to you, we've been accepted as citizens of Timberane. Oh. Today's the coronation, so we're out and forced to celebrate up a storm. Storm, you say? Oh, the prince is big on garish celebrations. People from all over the world have gathered here to join in the fun. Yeah, that's... even some scrivener types from the east. Hmm? Why the frown? <sighs> Something. Big storm. You gotta be kidding me! An attack on the coronation? Yeah. Keep your voice down. So, you believe me? Of course I believe you. You're running around sticking your nose in other people's business again, trying to save the world, right? Oh, uh, something like that. You need my help, Bone Mender? You just say the word. Thank you, Master Edmund. <sighs> On that note, I need you to get all these people far away from here and out of the rain. Ow. Huh? How am I supposed to move this many people? Figure something out. Me and my lot aren't sheepdogs, Bone Mender. That is... You're right. We don't have the numbers to evacuate everyone. Numbers, eh? I might be able to do something about that. Follow me. Hmm? Get everyone out of here. But also, we need to find. We also, need. our new king today anyone who doesn't drinks a traitor oh well that's really... and these people are timberane soldiery they're all a bunch of lousy drunks but they'll be positioned all over town once the ceremony starts huh? that sounds promising but the townsfolk might not listen to us, but they'll listen to the guards for sure. Oh. Hey, hold up. What are you... Soldiers of Timberrain. Oh, hey there. Come to sing us a song, have you? Uh... Sorry, no. My name is Casti. I'm a traveling apothecary. I've come to warn you of a dire threat facing your kingdom. A dire what's it? 
Rain. Uh, Purple rain will soon fall across your lands. A terrible blight that will kill all it touches. You know, you actually sound crazy when you say it like that. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not gonna. Enough with the bad jokes, girly. Today's a day for celebration, not just in poor taste. Uh... This isn't a joke. If we don't get everyone to safety at once, every last person here will die. I will need all of you to assist me if we are to save the lives of your people. Give me a break, deadly purple rain. Where's your proof? Her arm? Yo, I was joking about it. Uh, what's that black mark on your arm? Result of the purple rain. Dunno, but it grosses me out, it does. I was one of many victims of this poisonous rain. Unlike many, I was lucky to escape with my life. My friends and comrades, however, are all dead now. Every last one of them. They saved my life. I'm only standing here today because of their sacrifice. And now, to prevent that tragedy from ever happening again. To save your city and all of your lives. I beg you all to believe me. Lend me your aid, please. Hey, uh, what do you think? <sighs> I want to believe her, but... How in the hells do we know we can trust her? I can't take it anymore. You're all a bunch of spineless good-for-nothing... Jeez, bro! <laughs> Wait a sec. I know you. Friends, we owe these two a tremendous debt. They saved dozens of our comrades during the skirmishing with Sai. Sai? You mean to tell me she's the apothecary that saved my buddies from the sands? Not only that. It's thanks to this apothecary that we could finally make peace with the Outsiders. We are soldiers of Timber Rain, renowned for our honor. We cannot ignore this debt. Let us trust this apothecary who saved us once. Let us give her the chance to save us again. You got it. Put down your mugs, everyone, and let's get to work. We're going to save this town! Thank you, Commander Griff. All right, well... At least we're preventing the deaths. Okay. Get everyone inside! Close the windows! Bar the doors! Don't let the outside air in! It's working. We'll leave the rest to these brave soldiers. Have everyone inside. In the meantime, I need to stop the rain at its source. <sighs> Haste is in order. Air is true stone. Hold up, Bone Mender. Where do you think you're going? Get inside, quick! Of course. Someone needs to stop Trousseau. You know where he is? I have a good idea. Make sure to get yourself inside once you get these people to safety, Master Edmund. Don't die, Bone Mender. Thank you, Master Edmund. I'll try. Hey. Now, to find Trousseau. 
He'll be somewhere high to spread his poison. Somewhere the wind blows strong. The western hills, they fit the bell. And yet, the skies tell another tale. The wind will shift soon. From west to north. Which means the highest point would be... Castle? Timberane Castle. Are you serious? That's where you'll be, Trousseau. How the heck will he be there? This do. Jeez. Interesting. <laughs> Will this do? I like my arts. Now then. <laughs> I need a plan. Calculations complete. In pursuit of knowledge. Indulge me, brother. Hmm. Strike them down. I need a plan. All according to plan. Thinking time. Calculations can be. Let me show you what I've learned. Roar thunder. You're finished. I've gained valuable insight. Right. Who would? I know it's not worth. Like we got better things to do than than mug people. Fine. So she could get away from her older sister. Checking everything. Holy frick, so. Watch me.
Oh, jeez. No ordinary rain. Well, this rather go home early but doesn't want to leave before the other guard <laughs> interesting wait so they're just waiting for each other to leave Known as the Arms of the Kingdom for his martial prowess, even now as an old man across the outside, no tower waiting for challengers. Take this. Good night. Wait. Wait it's actually the way we're supposed to go. You know, I would, I would think you would leave, you would please bring the guy inside so he wouldn't die from the rain after knocking him out. Rusty Bull. Great camera. Uh <sighs> 
Wait, Ember Rain Castle has enemies? No need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Prepare yourself. What is this? Allow us. Pride of Ku. I thought he would get an impact. Why is external wounds? Is Now it. What is this? 
For the pride of Ku. No need for flattery. It'll rest my soul. Prepare yourself. My blood boils. Soul My turn. I have a talent for making do. I extend a helping hand. This will teach you. Here goes. Pierce the face of frost. It's my turn now. Forgive me. This is my chance. Now it begins. I still have much to learn.
Must be purged. It's my turn. So now it's even more fitting. Like, more fitting that he has that as a battle, like, as one of the battle forces. This is what it means to be a star. Forgive me. Now. Here I am. Blood boils. Soul is the best. Hmm. Fire. Study harder. You are a poison that must be purged. Here I come. Is this soul of defense? No. Fire. Burn. It's my turn. Oh my! Sorry. I wasn't expecting that. I'd hate to have to have to navigate this castle during a during an actual during like a, a siege. I'll do what I must. Now it be blood boils. Soul is set. So
Oh, hello there, Chief. I'm surprised to see that you're still with us. I owe everyone my life. Well, it changes nothing. Are you here to watch as another town is swept away by my delicious rain? I won't let you do this. Yes, yes, I saw you guide the sheep into their hovels. Good work. Round of applause. Close the windows or bar the doors. The air will still get in. As long as my precious smoke still rises, those people's lives are forfeit. Trousseau, I still held out hope for you. I thought that somewhere deep inside of you, the gentle man you once were still lived. But I was mistaken. Your heart is as black as the foul pestilence you spread. Purple. Oh dear. Are you threatening me? Aren't those hands made to save lives, not end them? Any more lives? I'm taking you down. It's the only way to extend a helping hand to all those down below. If only you had listened to his words that day. Then you would have gladly joined hands with me to bring salvation to this decaying world. Words. Don't worry, Chief. I'll save you too. Think about. You leave me with no choice, Trousseau. Prepare yourself. Um. Yes. I need a plan. Love the, like, love the water. The effect of the water. This will make it all right. Blade is unyielding. Now. 
well now. I extend a helping hand. No mercy, only pain. Prepare yourself. Here I go. It begins. What? Uh... How's this? What can I give you a speech? Well, now. Poison slash. Here I go. Prepare yourself. Pinch of this 
Knowledge is power. My turn. Allow me. Well now, I'll extend a helping hand, no matter what it takes. My turn. I fight for my friends. Thinking. Feel my wrath. Huh? Calculations complete. My turn. Oh, I can't get caught. I can't get off medicine. Or heal. I have a talent for making do. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. My turn. Uh, allow me. I need a play. Eureka. 
well can't now. focus. I extend a helping hand. Time for your medicine. The tide is turning. There we go. Here I come. I fight for my- What is this? Ten lessons on! Here I go. Use this to You're a true fight. friend. I'm running out of health. Impart your wisdom, Halifax! Time to shine! Watch this! you understand think of the pain of losing the one you love the horror of knowing that one day you will die what worth is there in a life painted with pain and bitter regret life may have its painful and bitter moments but there's always hope the hope to end pointless conflict the hope to tell your daughter how much you care. It is our mission as apothecaries to ensure that everyone lives long enough for their hopes to become reality. Even if it costs us our own lives. Ah, Chief. Look at you. So filled with futile suffering. Let me extend my hand to you and grant you salvation. Let's the taint on you, this town, on everyone, with the sweet purity of death. Now die! Die, 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 die! <laughs> Make me very angry. Now die! There's so many more weaknesses. More. Poison. Um, <clears throat> rain has gotten stronger. In pursuit of knowledge. Magia Stigma Tail. Many thanks. Don't, still not with the fight? Here you go. Thank you. Prepare yourself. Take my hand and 
I will save you. What to do? Prepare yourself. It ends here. Prepare yourself. I don't like this. I need this. Hmm. Help them, I store. <laughs> this wasn't in my calculations. No! <sighs> Here I go. from this. You Death can't effect. have me yet. <laughs> Our strategy. 
And by that I mean pretty much. I think we're gonna need that. Oh. 
I'll take that. Alright, go through the castle again. This time with no distractions. You know, we would think they would be wearing clothes. Oh, shit. Right, so Stand aside or fight. Now it begins. What is this? Soul Queen Tucker.
to work. Begins. What boils? Soul gets set now. Ready? Right. What to do? What to do? I have a talent for making do. Pinch of this many thanks. Prepare yourself. For the pride of Ku. Tidied up. Did the scene that you had in mind have to do with, like, have to do with peaches? Because I might have found it. Yep, uh, it, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I ran into that a little earlier today. Number two. You leave me with no choice, Trousseau. Very well. Yeah, I I figured it. Out. Ready? Oh, I didn't know you could rate rate P just from A to G. Here I come. How? What to do? What to do? I have a talent for making do. Yeah, I've yeah, I've already this is my second try now, so Oh dear. 
be healed. Thanks. Not bad. My turn. Allow me. What to do? I have a talent for making do. Pinch of this many facts. Cleaning time. Watch me. <laughs> what to touch? No, but I won't hold back. Right, Ava, Prince of Thieves. Holy broke. Here I come. I'll end this. What is this? Ten minutes on. Well now. Do not think ill of me for this. Very well. I could also just. <laughs> I could also just try to just use higher health. But I feel. I always feel kind of weird. To kind of dirty using that. Come, little lamb. Why did they make the arrows? Ready? Yeah, the rain basically makes it so that it basically adds a time limit to his fight. Not something, not exactly something that that one is prepared for. Choose your next move wisely. <laughs> okay, oh, so we also So we also know I will turn attempt. your wrath twofold. <laughs> I will be caught to foul through! Now it begins. How this? My turn. Do not think ill of me for this. Well now. Oh wait. Okay, if Thron Okay, if Thronia is disguised as someone else, she doesn't take her latent power. 
he doesn't copy the elite. Okay. But, big, it's still an interesting idea. Poison slash. Up to work. It was a fire. Ah, repent! <laughs> you have healing hands. Now it begins. How what to do? My turn. Bravo, Casting. Oh, I can't even use any healing. Prepare yourself. I fight for my friends. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. Very well. Many thanks, Casty. There we go. Why? Why won't think of the pain of losing? What worth is there? Life may have its. Kind of making it worse, brother. To, I, mean, I get what you mean, but tell still. your daughter how much it is our mission. Even. <sighs> Look at you. <laughs> Let me extend my hand to you. Turn your wrath twofold. More. Purple need more poison. This isn't good. I won't back down. Atone for your sins. Count that is where you stand. My turn. Extend a helping hand. I'll extend a helping hand, no matter what it takes. Cleaning time. Well, prepare yourself. Expertly done, thrown in. Here. I owe you, Hikari. Well now.
always in slack. My turn. Stop, but I will hold back. As swift as a snake. Don't blink. Cleaning time. Playtime is over. Aver, Prince of Thieves! Woo! 20... Prepare yourself. 20k! Go 20k with that. Oof. E. Choose your next move wisely. Where was I? Be here. Thank you. This fight isn't ideal. Now die. Oh. Oh dear. Here you go. Oh, okay, it'll still work. Cleaning time. Not, I guess direct buffs. They won't work. Hang in there. That helped. My turn. I extend a helping hand. This is my turn. I fight for my friends. What to do? What to do? I'll extend the helping hand, no matter what it takes. My turn. There! Now it begins. Oh dear. Cleaning time. Playtime is over. It is reckoning. Aver, Prince of Truth next. Done. All tidied up. Thank you, Frode. Um. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Just, my switch did, totally didn't fall down. Okay. okay. Everything's good. Everything's good. Good. It's good. Huh. <sighs> Bad. <coughs> I need a miracle cure. 
Snowdrops. The flower Malaya gave me. But... This poison rain afflicts people with so many disparate ill effects. It seems impossible to create one medicine to cure them all. And yet, I must... I'm the only one who can do it. T. Casty. Malaya? How? Remember, Casty. Remember? Remember what? Your journey. Every road you've walked has led to this moment. To this cure. My journey. Pure balm. To cleanse befouled waters. Scale bark leaf. To gift Rosa the time she needed. Santa Nejo blossom. To save Sally's life. And sky balm. And finally, the snowdrop. And trusted to me by you. Casty, I know you can do it. I can. I must. Here goes nothing. Pure Balm, Scale Bark Leaf, Sky Balm, Santanejo Blossom, and finally, Snowdrop Petals. I've never made any medicine like this before. There's no guarantee it will work, or that it's safe. I'll just have to test it on myself. Whoa. Here I go. I'll pour my soul into this cure! Respiration steady. The bleeding is slowing too. I can feel the numbness fading as well. And of greatest import, the black swellings are gone. All the symptoms are cured. Thank you, Malaya. I did it. Just like you said I could. I found a cure for Trousseau's poison rain. to extend one hand to take life in order to save a thousand with the other. <laughs> you haven't changed a whit, Chief. Not since I first met you. You haven't changed at all. <sighs> Graveyard of decay. How long can you remain? 
pain. The same. The rain's returning to normal. Casty! Master Edmund! Am I glad to see you? Enough about me. The town? We got pretty much everyone to safety in time. There were some stragglers, though. They're all fighting for their lives against that poison. <coughs> Damn. Looks like I inhaled some of that smoke myself. Take this, Master Edmund. Sure. Wait. Don't tell me this is... It is... a cure. Incredible. We'll be able to save everyone with this stuff. Indeed. Now hurry. Every second counts. You got it. Edmund, over here! Our bone mender's back. Everything's gonna be fine. Can you help them, Casty? Of course. I'll get right to work. Easy there. It'll be all right. should be everyone. I did it, Malaya. Everyone. I... saved them. Malaya. <laughs> Did I live up to your expectations? I'd say you did, and then some. You saved a lot of people's lives. Thank you, Chief. I'm sure the others feel the same. <sighs> Casty. I'm so very tired. I'd like to rest, Chief. Lend me a helping hand?
Good night, Malaya. Good night, all of you. Morning, Bone Mender. What? While you were snoozing, we had ourselves a coronation. I must have been out for a long time. A bed? The townsfolk? See for yourself. Excuse me, are you the apothecary everyone's talking about? Ha, ah, I'm a scrivener. I write stories for a gazette, the Delsta Times. I hear you saved the lives of all the good people of Timberane. Do you have any message to ah! share with the world? Uh, you say I saved them? No, it wasn't just me. We saved them. Heirs, apothecaries. Unlock scare like remedy. Up carrying the hunter. Oh, and yeah, thanks for thank you for the raid, my cat. Got a bitch. Previously on Westford. I told you why you explode? Like? Good thing don't, they don't explode like when I step over them. Shut up! Please, Hunter, please! Hunter! On the blue switches, that is. Oh, what, what the, the heck? heck? What? Wait, what? Excuse me. Oh, frick! Hope for a miracle. Holy crap, there is a god! Oh, the face! Oh. Okay, that was. Thank you! Wait, what? Thank you so much for the raid, my cat. I see you were playing Shining Force 2. How, how's that been going? I played the first one. But that was like a long, long time ago.
Uh, and yeah, we just finished Cassie's story. That that makes our I do believe that's our fourth story that we've completed. Oh. What is remedy? Grant a random ally three positive status effects. Okay, that hmm. I think Oswald has that as, like doesn't Oswald just have that as kingdom or scholars just that as uh, oh attribute raising oh. and okay positive step so but it's a random ally That don't, that doesn't. Hmm. That seems a bit a bit a little bit more. I feel that a little more disappointed. Mentioned someone in a clove, or, or seem to mention someone. I'll take that. Back to Cropdale. I'm at the level 45 as well. So I'm, I'm saving these level 45 um, old stories for. But next stop will be gravel. Start from Crack Ridge. Have to get on a on a boat, or get on our boat. I guess that's just kind of the thing about the about some of these stories is that is that they kind of leave off on a, like they be, that they they don't completely resolve everything. Like I mean, they don't they don't resolve. Each character storyline in Night Meet Bo right away, even at the end of their of their arc, there's still still like there's still some open like an open end, which serves the purpose of which serve which helps serve the purpose of the fact that they are still journeying with everyone. There's still work to be. Time for some. 
<laughs> Very well. Guards hatchet. Oh, I should probably have. I should have partition over. Buy stuff here. We're probably gonna buy stuff. There's something I would like. Would like to ask you. Do you ever feel like you aren't yourself? I'm not sure I understand. Do you mean to ask if the entity currently perceiving the world around you is it you? By that logic, there would be an inside, inside of me of itself. But that isn't. But that other isn't someone. However, it isn't me. That's how I feel. That's similar. I felt like the me of my memories when I had. I think I'm starting to understand what you mean. I feel like there, there's more. I feel like there's more than one of me. I like what I must differentiate my feelings as a person from those of the cleric. Please, I'm not the only one who struggles with this. Readily, but that's my point. I think you have no cause for this. I must accept the other sides of us. In the end, not who we are, but how we choose to live. Perhaps this elf. Time to become the person we want to be. I'm sure you get that. My apologies for bringing up some. Please, babe. Hmm? What were we talking about again? I seem to have forgotten. I believe I had too much to do. Jeez. Huh. Oh. Oh. So there's only like four, only four pairs. But they're not like. Huh. I thought there was gonna be more combinate like or combos. A little bit. That's a little. Bit <sighs> I mean, the fact that we still get, like, quests with other characters. Great. If it is, if it's still pretty limited. The Bothkers are incredible. All those people are better, better now because of you, Cat. No, in my mind, dancing is far more It's just a few twists and twirls you make everyone around. Ah, Edison isn't the only thing. Who can make all the difference? Happy person. That's really good. Wow, I, I didn't know that. So you're saying that if you team up, the bed could be able to cure a lot more people than people. That settles it. Cassie, let me dance beside you. I want to help to heal the sick. Uh, let's put that idea on hold for now. We take the patient more. He rest more than your patient. <laughs> Use yourself as your own test subject. You are an impressive researcher. Is this standard practice for the pursuit of medicine? It is. Medicine can only be a master. 
safe ones of safety. Medicine and poison are probably only a hair thread for the of heart. They take dosage and really present. Interesting. Trial and error is how I've arrived at many new discoveries. But in your line of work, experimentation. To be told, I made many errors. Often they left me Luckily, over, the time, over time, it's made me immune to all the most virtuous poisons. Virtuous poisons. If you ever feel a fear of assassination, it means. Girl. I think you should take better care of yourself. <laughs> if he's telling you to take better care of yourself, you. You know you need to. Like, if Oswald is telling you to take, be take better care of yourself, you. Like, you. you that's saying something. Don't be reckless, Casty. Nice of you to say it. Kind hunters are like our hungry, like our hungry hunters. That's the same in my village. That's cause um, nice hunter will put put their prize with everyone. Even though their stomach will never be right of it. Yeah, you do. You, like you give give your last shred of jerky to someone even if you are starving. That's nice of you, but remember to eat something sometimes too. Okay. Nothing will ever stop me. Master Edmund and Commander Griff, good connections. Those two will be a great help. Fancy, it's all thanks to you, you know that, you know that right? Neither of those two were ready to lay a finger before much less a hand, but because of what you did for them, they're happy to repay the favor in kind and help to save this town. Not just them, either. All, all these other folks, too. Yes, yeah, I'll say it straight. Your actions have moved whole herds of hearts. You should be proud. But your trial will start now. collects precious gems across the land. I would love to get a close one. <laughs> oh, you really are wild for gems. I imagine we may have some. Perfect. You, you don't say. I'm going to be curious to see this collection myself. <laughs> then it's settled. We can split the spoils 50-50. Bad throw date. No larceny. <laughs> she really is the mob. No larceny. The minnows, you read the history of ch children in your spare time, right? Yes, on occasion. I think that's a wonderful thing to do. Um, really? Why? Reading a picture book is what set me down the path of the book. Even when my memories were lost, that fact was refreshing to me. Moments of inspiration in childhood have a Every time you read the history of someone, you'll be changing their life. Perhaps you are right. Perhaps I should take those readings a little more seriously for I don't remember this one, but it's not in the Oh. I think we've already done that. But yeah! Ugh. Still, I'm a bit sad that the side stories are just they're just only four side stories. Instead like instead of actually like instead of actually like mixing and matching. Like I would prefer to like a quest for each like for each possible pair.
Although, I do understand that would be quite the undertaking. Because with eight characters, it's like you'd have seven for each. Seven, and then... Like, it would... Like, it's quite... Like, it would be... It would still be quite the undertaking. Quite the numbers. Burton Palace Gardener also her childhood friend. Begun technically so lucky people to run them. <laughs> yeah. That was big. Still here. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> that might be a bit. Fair. Raise your weapon. Waiting for like I've been waiting for this day. On your guard. My turn. I guess they call him a hero for no- like, I guess they call him a hero- they don't call him a hero for nothing.
to work. So sorry. Where was I? To work. Where was I? I have atoned for your sin. Now die. To work. Careful. Very well. Just a quick rest. Where was I? Holy light. Illuminate the darkness. Okay. Very well. Holy light. Illuminate the darkness. Where was I? Holy light. Illuminate the darkness. To work. Holy light. Illuminate the darkness. Holy light. Illuminate the darkness. Your recruit grew up poor because he had to require many sacrifices to buy this way because his work was wealth accumulating around the nobility, nobility and his people's revolution. Oh! Oh! I'm like what that man? Take that. Any more? Hello. Owner. Well, I mean, I bet this guy. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I understand your... Like, I understand being, like, like, being angry about being arranged a marriage with someone that you haven't met before. I have a
Interesting. I am an acquaintance of a good friend of a king's grandfather. Verifying this connection is pretty challenging. Has held his post since the Purple Rain incident. He was the one who urged to review the palace his security measures, and when the need for a gatekeeper was identified, he volunteered for positions. His motivation was that they're not to be reassigned to the kingdom's peripheral. It was a desire not to be reassigned to the kingdom's periphery away from his lover in town. Can't, okay, we can, we can still go back in. Although... Okay, there's still... So there's still enemies here. Okay, so you can still go back and fight the enemies. Tell you the truth, I've never been at low. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, today has been the trouble of having to explore the castle again. Looking for more NPCs. your except on your guard <clears throat> oh frick I forgot to what boils here comes my friends I've failed you oh forgot to heal impressive They just have the same ability. I'm just curious what happens if one of them leaves. Or if I if I, if I grab like if I have one of them I end up guiding them. Watch me. 
<laughs> Aw, he doesn't- the other guy doesn't leave. Because it says that he's waited- like, he wants to- he would rather go home early, but doesn't want to leave before the other guard. Like, that would have been so funny if- if the other guard actually left. Alright, well... Also, I have found this lady who, like, who I've deduced is actually, um, Emerald's, Emerald, Emerald's mother from Bridget Isle, so. Based on, like, on, ha on sharing it, like, seems to be, seems to be, where is the lineup? Yeah. Oswald for the matter. And our next stop. Is gravel, which will start from crack. Thanks everyone for stopping by, and thanks once again Mike, Mike the Cat for the raid. Yeah, next time we'll, like, we seem to be going at a good pace. Like, we're completing everyone's story, like, or at least we're, we seem to be completing, <laughs> completing someone's story, like, like, like in each stream so far. And I want to keep that, that up. Even though it took me another three hours to be ca finish Cassie's story. Like it was 11:30 when I was like, oh, yeah, I could do it. I could do a Casty story. Two hours, three hours later. But anyway. Monocle gamer. <laughs> um, this.
Anyway, um, yeah. So yeah, for tonight. Um, I'll be here tonight. Purple wind go away. And yeah, have a good night. God bless. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah.